Hey everyone, Elite Trainer CJ here, and today we are playing some Pokemon Radical Red. So last time, as you can see, we got three Pokemon added onto our team on top of our starter. We have ourselves. Let me go and get into the team right here. All right, so we got Squirtle, and of course it has Tackle, Whip, and Water Gun. It's only level eight right now, so by the time we get to the gym. We'll be fine. We got a level 2 Rattata, gonna level up off screen, of course. Um, Rattata Tail Whip. And it's the Alolan version, so it's dark and normal type. Rickety has Leer, Peck, and Power Trip. And that's level 4, and we'll be leveling that up off screen, of course, as well. And we also have our Shinx. Who only knows Taft right now, but we'll eventually know some electric moves. I'll help out with Missy's Gym. Alright. Let me just uh, use this potion real quick. And you know what? We're going to uh, go catch ourselves a Pokemon. Ooh, this is exactly the Pokemon that I wanted. Blip Bud. It would turn into Orbeetle, which is a Psychic and Bud type. Very interesting duo right there, and I think uh, it will eventually help out in the long run when it comes to, like, our. Let's see, the Elite Four uses Ghost type. I do believe that. There's a couple of the, like the Lavender Town, that's gonna help with Lavender Town. Should help with, uh, against Sabrina. One, two, three. I'm gonna go heal and I'm going to, uh, do some battles against some trainers. So I'll be right back. Alright, you guys, we are back and now we're gonna be facing some trainers. Alright, here's our first trainer right here. Hey, I have, you have Pokemon, come on, let's battle them. Okay, I guess so. I'll destroy you. It don't matter. You got a Caterpie. I got my Blip Bud. But guess what? I'm going to switch to my Rickety right here. It's a level 7. I'm thinking we'll have an easy time with you. I wanted to have a Blip Bud at the first because I do believe it's one of the first ones to evolve. Uh, I know that Rattata can evolve at level 20. Um, Squirtle evolves at like level 16, I want to say. Shinx, I'm not entirely sure. Rishi, I'm, I, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's still level 10 like any uh, I think it's still level 10 for Blip Bud. Well, I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember exactly what level it evolves at. But yeah, we'll get there. We might have a couple of evolved Pokemon by the time we get to the uh, first gym. Might have to find ourselves a grass type Pokemon because I do know that um, that Brock starts off with a Alolan Geodude, which is Rock and Electric type. So it does. I think it has Discharge, and that is bad news for Squirtle. So. We're gonna have to look around and see if we can find any grass types. And if you find one in here, that'd be great. But I'm not gonna look forward to. I'm not gonna see if we are or not. Um, if you press L on your, uh, on your, on your, uh, whatever you have it set up to with keybinds, you can actually enable Auto Run, which is a godsend. <laughs> so that way you don't have to hold down B or whatever, you know. All right, and with that, we got ourselves Bud Catcher Dud. Dud, what's up? All right. So we're gonna send in Rickety again, of course. Trying to get Blip Bud evolved. Not sure how long that would take. But yeah, um, should be pretty easy though. Oh, we got poison though. At least it was a one-hit KO, so that's good. All right, so we might want to take care of this soon. Just use patch and knock them all out. We do oh, hopefully it was. Hopefully the next one's a one-hit KO because I don't want Rookie D to die. Does three damage, so if we get a one hit KO this next one, we should be okay. 
We have 4 HP left though. Oh, and it's faster. But... Oh, it's got 1 HP. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, Richard is out. This, good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke. I'm not gonna do a Nuzlocke for this thing. It's pretty tricky. I will let you know. I, I it took me like three tries for Brock, four try, three or four tries for Misty, maybe even five, and then I'm still stuck on uh, Lieutenant Surge, so that's not fun. Shinx is now level five. Nice. Oh, level six actually. Okay. So I might actually have to go and uh, heal up so that way Rookie D's all good to go. And I will be back with the next trainer. Alright, so I am back. We have a trainer right up here, I do believe. Alright, here we go. We're up against... Budcatcher Anthony. Okay, you got a cast tune. Okay, so you just probably just use hard and maybe even... Poison Sting or... Not die, or I don't know. Probably Harden, knowing how cast coons and silk coons usually are. Yep, and it's gonna use Harden. Okay, that's fine. That means Rookie can take care of this pretty easily then. It takes a couple more hits, but we're all good. One more hit, maybe one more. Probably had to be the second. Uh, two hits though. Two hits. Nope, we got it. Okay, with that, we beat uh, Castune. Blood Bud, uh, Blood Bud leveled up. Ricky D is now level 9. I want to say the Ricky D evolves to level 18 and then level 60. I'm not entirely sure. But we're just trying to get rid of this Sir Skit real quick. Bubble? I didn't think you would have Bubble this early in the game though. Alright, with that we beat Bud Catcher Anthony. Alright, we have ourselves another trainer right here. And then we have another one right before the exit. So we got two more trainers. We should be able to get right through them. They got a Ninkata. Alright, so instead of using uh, Rookie D, I'm probably going to use Squirtle. Just because Squirtle can take care of business. And it's lower level than Rookie D now, so probably want to level it up a little bit. Use Harden. Okay. I do, but okay, we do try to level up a little bit because we got our battle against Brand right here before we exit for the Enforce. So I do want to do some leveling up and then we'll go ahead and face him. So I think his Pokemon are like level 12, I want to say. So I want them all at least around level 10 before we battle them. Um, so here. We get Rookie D out there to take care of Bl uh, Scatterbug. Um, oh, actually, Brandon has a Corfish. I think his only Pokemon is Corfish. So, if I just level up Shinx to where it le learns like Discharge or um, any any Electric type move, Thundershot or Spark or some of like that, then we should be able to just beat it easily. We don't have to worry too much about leveling up all the Pokemon. So I'm going to be doing some uh, some uh, grinding before we face him. We do have one more gym though. Uh, we do have one more trainer before we have to face him though. Oh, one HP. Okay, that's fine. And there we go. Metapod is down. We should get a decent amount of experience right here. 106 experience. Nice. Level 10. It should be like level 11. No. 10 and a half. Okay, that's right. Alright. And we got one more trainer down here. Alright, and here's our last trainer before we do a little bit of grinding before we go and face Brandon. So here we go. They got, are, they got themselves a Grebin. I'm going to send up my Shane so that way we can level up a little bit. They don't have any electric type moves, I know that for sure. So we should be able to just beat Grubbin right here. Pretty easily. I think it's what? 
We have Vice Drip. Vice Drip is annoying. It's a full blood type. Okay. That's what I thought it was. It, it, it's Charger Bud when it gets the Elastic to it. And there we go. We beat Grubbin pretty easily. Chains is now level 7. Okay, and with that, we are going to be doing a little bit of grinding, so I will see you guys in just a minute. Hey, um, so I'm back. Uh, we did change to Manji because I just remembered that since the first gym is a rock type, while I was doing grinding, I went over here and I actually found a Manji. So we're going to be using a Manji to uh, go ahead and face the first gym. It'll help out with that electric, uh, with that Alolan Geo dude, so that way Squirtle doesn't have to worry too much. So he and both. Squirtle would be the two main that we're going to be focusing on when we face the gym leader. But first, we're going to go and face our rival right here. So let's go ahead and face Aura. He should be a low, low enough level that we can beat. Um, we are right around level 10 with everybody except for Manji. So I do have Manji out front. And his Pokemon is level 10. Okay. So that makes sense. Uh, Bullet Budge is also not leveled up all the way, probably because I don't think I'll be using him for the first gym. We probably won't need to use it. But here we go with Water Gen. Then use Growl again, okay. That's fine. That's just attack. Water Gen is special, I do believe. And one more Water Gun should take care of it. And with that, Starly is actually down. There we go. Mankey is now level 4. Probably should get up to like 5 or 6. Fury Stripes. Let's see, should we learn Fury Stripes? Uh, probably get rid of Leer. And with that... It's level 5, okay. We're level 11 Squirtle, so that's always good. Bulbasaur, we, um, he's gonna send out Bulbasaur, we are gonna send out Rickety. We're gonna use Peck. That's gonna do a good amount of damage, just gonna use Leech Seed, that's not gonna hurt us too much. It's trying to take like maybe one HP, maybe two at the, oh, it took four, okay. But still, that's not gonna do enough to kill us because one more hit and we should be good. It's gonna use Drought and then it's gonna heal three more damage because of that Leech Seed. Okay, that's not bad. And our last pet should take care of business. There we go, super effective. It's now John. Richie D is almost up to level 12 and we've defeated our rival. So once again, I'll be back when we are about to face Brandon. So, goodbye Aura, we will see you later. Probably see you at Nugget Bridge. I think that's the next time we face him, right? Yeah, yeah. no, wait. We can face him on the SSN, okay. Anyways, let's heal up, and then I will see you guys with Brandon. We need a tiny bit more uh, grinding with Shinx here because it does it knows charge but it does not know like thunder shot or anything like that yet so I would be right back all right you guys I am back and uh, Shinx learned spark so we should be good to go let's go ahead and here's Brandon hey what's up dude there should be a jolt around here somewhere around here this jolt is around here because if so I'm gonna search that's gonna help with Misty <laughs> but yeah we're gonna be facing Brock but here we go. Um, I did see a Hound Hour uh, earlier, right before, actually right before entering Viridian Forest. So I might actually get rid of Rattata and put um, Hound Hour there because later on we will need a Fire type, and that is a perfect Fire type. There's also I'm gonna do Charge so that way the Electric would be heavier hitting, but we should be able to take care of business right here. It's level eight. I did not realize that, so we are a little over prepared. But it's alright. I'm gonna use Spark. Um, there's also a uh, Bell uh, There's no. Not. Um, not Bell Sprout, but the Oddish. We have Oddish right here on the same route as Hound Hour, so I might get rid of another. I think we might temporarily get rid of Blip Budge 
So that way, oh. Oh. I didn't realize it had Trico as well. Oh well, we got Rickety for that. Um, but yes, we might actually temporarily get rid of Blip Buds so that way we have um, Oddish, so that way we have Swirtle, Oddish, and also Mantee to take care of Brock for the first gym. So yeah, it's just going to be temporary. I'm not going to keep. Uh, I'm not going to keep Oddish. Um, there's plenty of better Grass types, but it's the only one I've seen so far before the first gym. But there we go. Richard is now level 12. Nice. Learning Fury Attack. I'll learn Fury Attack. Sure. Oh, Power Trip is wait. Oh. Um, let's get rid of Leer because I do want to keep my Dark type move. And there we go. And we beat Brandon. I had a loss like that for a while, but that was rather fun. CJ, huh? Here, I have an extra. I have an extra of these. They surely help you. Ooh, ESP share. That is definitely what I need. Okay, so stat scanner, nice. Until we meet again, CJ. Yeah, we'll face him later on. Uh, but yes, we got our ESP share, so that's gonna help. And let's go ahead and get into Pewter City. So that way. We have another route right here. Let's see if there's anything good here. Here's the Hound Hour. So there's a Hound Hour right here. So, you know what? We're going to go ahead and use Tackle. Got into... Ooh, we got into Yellow already. So we're going to go ahead and use the Pokeball. And like I said before, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, probably get rid of Rattata. If we can catch it, of course. And then next... Next video, which will hopefully come out maybe Thursday. To, so tomorrow. Or oh, whenever you see in this. So our next episode, no matter what, would be against Brock. But yes. Um, we're gonna... I'm just gonna fast forward, I'm sorry. Alright, and with that, we got ourselves a Hound Hour, and we're gonna be adding it to our team instead of uh, Rattata. Alright, and with that, we have ourselves the Hound Hour, so we're gonna be using that, of course, instead of Rattata. So, we're also gonna be, uh, Looking for, probably generally looking for it off screen. But here we go. And so if you see a oddish instead of blip bud, you know exactly why. Other than that, thank you guys for watching so much. I do appreciate it. Make sure to stay tuned for the next one. And what do you what do you think of our team? What do you think of our team so far? I think it's a pretty decent team, pretty versatile. Um, has a lot of coverage, so that's good. Um, I really just want to get an Oddish just for the first gym right here in Pewter City. And other than that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so that way you won't miss another video. I am Elite Trainer CJ, and I'll see you guys next time for another episode of Pokemon Radical Red. See you guys later.